Cooking Climb fans, this is Vivian representing back in the Cooking Climb headquarters. And today for our pasta challenge, we're going for radiatori. These little pastas which look like radiators. For the sauce, we'll be using trippy broccoli, lemon, pine nuts, almonds. We're making broccoli lemon pesto. And at the end, we grate a little bit of uh, dried fish roe to give it that seafood eat. <laughs> Right, uh, so today today we are in Algund again. As my friend says, this is instant classic boulder. Let's see, the pasta wasn't great, but the boulder looks pretty good. Let's get all the ingredients in and send it. So whilst the broccoli is cooking, let's put pasta to boil and when the pasta is done, we'll have our sauce ready. Lemon zest, pine nuts. Some olive oil, salt, and most importantly, parmesan. Alright, so it's uh, session three on the small valley syndrome. Windier, colder, and I just had a couple of warm up gloves. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. The psych is high, let's send it. So yeah, the older inspiring guys left. Got me super psyched. Almost sent it, Michael almost sent it. Kim, Kim, ja sauber. Okay, Michael. Get your hold up. No! And he's 53. Ah, I wish I'm that psyched when I'm 53. few errors by just trusting the, the cooking time on a package. I need to try the pasta before I serve it. Hmm. I think those two minutes will be just perfect. Last time I destroyed my heel pretty bad and the toe is getting a bit worked. So today I brought some other weapons, we have uh, heels still intact, rubber on the toe, because it's pretty 
mad heel hook in action at the start. Yeah, now 10 minute rest. And uh, it would be nice if I send it today. I think it's the last session of the season. It's getting really warm. That's why I'm here in the evenings. Yeah! Woo! My favorite food critic is in the building. With the dogs. Your weapon. Thank you. Let's see if it's any good. I can see that all the radiator grooves got full mm -hmm. of sauce. Mm. This is not plastic, right? No, no, no. It's a skin. Okay. Like a fish. Fishy. You don't want to eat plastic, do you? So the plastic shape is interesting. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Never had it before. This one is whole wheat, so it's a bit more... It's... It doesn't taste like normal pasta, would you know? Mm -hmm. The sauce is also tasty. It's just maybe... A tiny bit too much of a lemon. Because it's a very strong flavor. Mm -hmm. And the rest is very mild flavor. But it's tasty. Mm. And the pasta is not undercooked. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know. I would give it a three. It's tasty, but there is a lot of tastier things. There are a lot of tastier things. But it's pretty mild. Also. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Like summery, kind of. Yeah. But we're in the middle of the winter now. <laughs> It's not amazing. Wouldn't cook it again. Or maybe I will try to improve it. That's a bit like not balanced. I don't know. Three out of five? Nah. The texture maybe is three and a half. There are better tasting pastas. Uh... <laughs> I give just barely 3, more 2.9 out of 5, but hey, there are worse pastas in the world. Like the Vina. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was 5. For um, you. And uh, yeah, now time to climb. Go cuddle the radiator so I get warm and then go to climb. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thanks for the verdict. <laughs>